That is a Corvette E-Ring, the first ever hybrid electrified Corvette, and it has all-wheel drive. So does that mean the Corvette is becoming the American Lamborghini? Well, let's let Lamborghini answer that question. Meanwhile, that is a Corvette Z06, the first ever Corvette with a flat plane crank V8. So everyone says it's an American Ferrari. Do we believe them? Well, let's let Ferrari answer that question. The C8 switched to a mid-engine layout did more than give the Corvette outrageous traction at the rear for ridiculous acceleration. It also opened the door for a Porsche 911-like palette of models, each with a very different focus. The Z06 is the Corvette for the racetrack. Wide body, big, huge, sticky tires, and the LT6, the most powerful naturally aspirated V8 ever. 670 horsepower from 5.5 liters thanks to a flat plane crankshaft and 8,600 RPM redline. It sounds and handles like a race car. The E-Ray is a very different kind of Corvette. It combines the Z06's wide body with the base Stingray's LT2 V8. That's a 6.2 liter single cam pushrod V8 that only revs to 6,600 RPM, and so it makes 175 fewer horsepower than the Z06. But GM's small block is among the best sounding and most charismatic V8s on the planet. So before we go any further, I think we need to let these two cars have an argument, and so we can decide which one sounds better. <laughs> You can decide for yourself which one sounds better, and then explain why it's the Z06. However, the E-Ray has another engine in it, and it sounds like, um, church bells? Hear that? That is the sound of electrons, because the Corvette crew has installed a 160 horsepower electric motor. Good for front wheel drive motoring at up to 45 miles an hour. But that is not the point. The battery is tiny, it's only 1.9 kilowatt hours, so it can only really go a couple of miles on electric power. The point is that it not only raises total system output to 655 horsepower within 15 of the Z06, but it gives the E-Ray all wheel drive. When you're talking about this level of power, getting it all to the ground is a real challenge. We had a mother of a time getting the Z06 to hook up. Once it did, holy Zora was it fast. Remember, we're not on a prepped surface, no VHT, and the Z06's Michelin Cup 2R tires hate the surface at Willow Springs. When we got it right, the Corvette managed a staggering 10.5 second run through the quarter mile, putting it in Italian supercar territory. So, what about the E-Ray? Can it too keep up with an Italian supercar? You, go. Oh my God, that noise. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ferrari declined to participate if there were cars from any other manufacturer because Ferrari thinks it lives in a world by itself and it has no competition. Right. And then Lamborghini declined to participate because, and I quote, our customers don't care about straight line speed. The fuck they don't. Both the Italian cars in this episode are here with a huge thanks to Falcon Car Rental in Los Angeles. Visit them on the web and use coupon code Haggerty to save up to a generous 35% off an exotic car rental. Details in the description below. <laughs> Since everything we've heard from all the Italian car companies in this episode has been complete and utter horse, I think it's only fair that I start the race in Italian. So ready? <clears throat> Babri bubri, vaffanculo, and go! Did 
you miss me? That is a 10-4, which means the E-Ray beat the Italian supercars. It also means the E-Ray beat the Corvette Z06. And what I find the most interesting is just how differently it went about getting that 10.4 versus the Z06's 10.5. launch, the E-Ray is a model of consistency. Activate launch control and 60 is yours in just 2.4 seconds. With so much weight transferred rearward, the E-Ray's front motor is nearing the traction limit of the front tires as it ramps up power along the way. It hits its peak by about 40 miles an hour and stays there all the way till about 110. At the quarter mile mark, when the E-Ray is traveling just two miles an hour slower than the Z06, its front motor's output has dropped to well under 100 horsepower. In other words, at these speeds, the lighter and more powerful Z06 is significantly faster. But the E-Ray's launch is insane enough that it gets to the line a tenth before the Z06, making them both quicker than our Italian supercars. Here's a very fast Italian supercar. Despite a bunch of nasty wheel hop, that thing bangs off a 2.7 second zero to 60, which is unheard of for a two wheel drive car. Here's the thing, by 30 or 40 miles an hour, this thing pulls a car length on the Lamborghini, which is busy doing a burnout. <laughs> From here on out, it's just straight violence. The 710 horsepower Ferrari doesn't just keep pulling on the Lambo, it's already reeling in the all-wheel drive E-Ray by the time it gets to school zone speeds. It's not quite enough to catch the Corvette by the end of the quarter mile, but the turbocharged Ferrari is different league fast, traveling eight miles an hour quicker than the E-Ray. The fact that the two-wheel drive F8 is even in the mix is a testament to how fundamentally good and outrageously powerful it is. Because the fact of the matter is, in a roll race, it wouldn't even be a contest. The Ferrari would just walk. You might be thinking, where did everyone go? But that is not a slow car. This 602 horsepower Lamborghini has thrust mode which dumps the clutch into a high drama display of wheel spin. And so this Evo needs almost three and a half seconds to make it to 60 miles an hour. Almost a full second behind the more powerful four wheel drive Huracan Evo we asked Lamborghini for. Sure, it struggles off the line a little bit, but all of the Lamborghini's horsies are present and accounted for. And we know this because its trap speed is identical to the E-Ray's, even though it's five car length behind. An all wheel drive Evo would have likely edged out the Ferrari, but not the Corvette. And even though this rear drive Huracan had no chance off the line, it weighs 250 pounds less than the E-Ray, so it's no slower once it's finally hooked up. Quarter mile is a quarter mile and fair is fair. You saw it here first. The E-Ray isn't just an American take on the Italian supercar, it's a faster take on the supercar. And by the way, you know it's not the end of the road for the Corvette. You know the Z06 motor is gonna wind up in there with two turbos, and then we're gonna be back here racing it against Bugatti Mistrals or something. Ow. Oh, oh Jesus, oh, what? Ah. Wait a second. You know, for once I think these Twitter people have a point. Guys, this is a racetrack. Whoa. Stay tuned.